Hey y'all, it's Brady. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. So today I have a massive, uh, ridiculously crazy Kroger order. <laughs> so, um, I will put the total on the screen or in the thumbnail because I am not even sure right offhand what that number was because of all the money they had to give me back and coupon issues. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. And uh, today, let's just put it short and sweet that today Kroger had me second guessing whether I want a coupon at all because it was just absurd. So um, these maple pork sausage links were on sale. They were marked down uh, because they're getting close to their date, uh, which is fine. We're going to eat them this weekend and whatever I don't cook, we'll throw in the freezer. They were $1.29. I also had a 50 cent coupon that should have come off on this, but it did not. Whatever. Um, I'm so done with them. <laughs> Uh, these were not marked correctly, but these chicken breasts were $1.88 a pound. They did ring up correctly um, for $9 for the package of 4.8 pounds. And um, this uncured Simple Truth bacon, I actually got this to go with the jalapeno poppers. Um, that I, or the stuffed jalapenos that I'm making. You wrap the bacon around it and we're going to throw them on the grill. Um, so that was $3.49 after a dollar off coupon. This Kroger thick cut bacon was $4.99 after a dollar off the e coupon. Uh, 99 cent or 89 cent hot dogs just to have an extra to throw on there for the little kiddos. And then I got these two steaks in the markdown. I got a sirloin and a New York strip. I was going to get two New York strips, but honestly, they didn't all look too great. So that's what I got. And then, and the ones that did look good were not marked down, obviously, and they were $15.99 a pound, which was not going to happen in this house. $10.47 for three pounds of 80, 20 ground beef. Could have gotten it cheaper, regular price at Aldi, but I decided not to go to two stores today, and I'm kicking myself because Kroger is such a pain in my behind today. So, I also got five packs of brats and Italian sausages. These were $1.99 a package. I thought that there was a limit of five, but it turns out that there was no limit, but I had only budgeted four or five packs, so that's what I got. I didn't want to go too obsessive because I don't even eat these. Um, these are mainly just for my husband, um, but when you say $3 a package, and then I can put them in the deep freezer to have all summer to throw on the grill. So um, I got a sweet Italian, two beer brats, a mild Italian, and a hot Italian. Again, those were $1.99 a package. Okay, so these chuck roasts, if you walk into Kroger right now, they are gonna be $4.99 a pound. However, from a couple of weeks ago, I had a rain check of $2.49 a pound. So I grabbed four roasts that are all about three and a half, three to three and a half pounds. Um, so it was right at about $32-ish for all four of those, which was a great no, deal. No. And then, these Chips Ahoy Chewy Cookies I got for my husband and the kiddos because I still have some of the crispier cookies for myself. So these were $1.79 after a dollar off e-coupon as part of that big sale. I don't know why Kroger even has these as e-coupons. They're a sale. They have it advertised right on the aisle. It's literally just more gimmicks and games. I don't know. It drives me nuts. So sorry for the ranting today, but I am still just furious with Kroger. So... Uh, $1.25 for a loaf of bread, again, would have been cheaper at Aldi, but I was there and thought, I don't want to go to two stores, because I was already going to CVS. Um, I packaged these Sprout Crispy Chews. These are the little, like, fruit snacks for toddlers that have um, beets and berries with crispy brown rice. They're not sticky, like normal. Um, they're not like the normal fruit snacks that stick to your teeth, um, so I don't worry about them as a choking hazard. And then these are popped veggie snacks, organic crinkles, cheesy spinach flavor. We've not tried those, but I thought it'd be something new. And I got both of those. These were a dollar after my coupon and those crispy chews or crinkles were 50 cents. So normal price is like $3.49 a bag. So that was the only reason I grabbed them is because we do really like that brand of snacks. These were 99 cents, these Kroger Caesar croutons. Um, again, would have been cheaper at Aldi, but I did not think that, but I guess Aldi ha or Kroger has raised their prices. So this corn and then green beans 
These were each 59 cents a piece, which would have been only 49 cents a piece or less at Aldi. And then this, I think, uh-oh, <laughs> my visitor, <laughs> my toddler's trying to get in here. Um, so I got a pound of just white rice for 89 cents. Again, I still think it would have been cheaper by the pound at Aldi, but I didn't mean, need that much rice this week for meals. Um, $1.49 for the fruit and grain bars. $1.25 for a bag of classic ripple chips. And then let's move on this way. Hello. She is right at my feet. She's like, what are you doing? Why am I not in this? All right. Uh, $2.50 for a bag of hearts of romaine salad mix. $0.99 cents for a bag of baby carrots. I did have um, a $2, $2, $2 off, $10 in produce, and then a $0.50 cent or $0.40 cent off a package of baby carrots. So I used all of that, and then a lot of the produce was on sale. Listen here, little baby hands. All right. Oh, no. We're going to have anger. Hold on a minute. All right, let's try this again. Um, so the apples were, I think, about 50 cents a piece. Um, again, the baby carrots ended up being 49 cents or 59 cents a bag after the coupon. 59 cents for green onions, $1.69 for an English cucumber, $3.99 for a three pound bag of Halo oranges, 99 cents a pound, and this was literally like 1.1 pounds, so it was like $1.09. For that bunch of asparagus that we're going to throw on the grill as well and a bag of shredded iceberg lettuce to add to salads that was a dollar 19. a head of or a bunch of spinach that was 99 cents it was much cheaper than getting the baby spinach in the bag at kroger at aldi it's not very much it's just a little over a dollar but this is um at aldi like i said is only about a dollar, but then at Kroger, the baby spinach in the already prepared bag was uh, almost three dollars. So I skipped on that, just got the bunch for 99 cents. Package of red seedless grapes. We still have some grapes, but these were 99 cents a pound still, so I'm gonna stock up while they have them. $2.99 for two pounds of strawberries. These look great. I'm really excited about that. I got a bunch of bananas for 59 cents a pound. Again, would have been cheaper at Aldi by a few cents and then if you see a little bow that's a little somebody back there getting into my groceries um almond breeze almond milk um again would have been cheaper at aldi but it was by all, about 50 cents difference and i didn't want to go again to multiple stores um so it was 219 after the digital coupons 249 for a gallon of whole milk i got assembly lemonade regular and assembly lemonade with strawberry those were $1.49 a package, or $1.99 a bottle after the coupons. Two Milo's tea for 99 cents a piece instead of the big gallon. And then $2.99 for the six pack of the mini Mountain Dews. The eggs, I almost did not get these um, in my original plan because if you look at the ad or if you look online, it says the eggs are $1.89 for a dozen and a half. For the 18 count but when i got there these were dollar 18 so i went on ahead and got two 18 counts and then i got four of these carb master yogurts they were or i got five carb master yogurts and they were two dollars for the five of them this is a great great deal that did work and i didn't have any issues um was the kroger eight ounce packages of either shredded cheese or blocks and they ended up being 99 cents a pack. You could get up to five, so I did. I got sharp cheddar Mexican and a nacho taco blend. I got a pie crust for $1.69. I got one of these little Kroger brand energy shots. I got two Mio's. They weren't on sale, but they were $2.99 a piece. I got some baby wash that we needed. It was, I had a coupon on it on my card, obviously or accidentally that it just went on ahead and came off. So it was $1.25, I think, after the coupon for that. And then, let's see, what else? These were $1.49 after that buy four, save four that the water and something else were included in. Um, so these were $1.49. Just thought it'd be an interesting snack option for these Baby Bell cheese and crackers. Again, this would have been cheaper at Aldi and I did not realize how much cheaper. Um, or else I would have just went to Aldi. Um, 
but these sandwich bags, you get 90 of them. We only have like two left, and so I definitely needed to get some today. They were $2.29. Diaper rush cream was $2.99 or $3.99. I got the Kroger brand of the allergy relief, and it was $5.99 or $6.99. These Kleenex Ultra Soft, I got five of them. They are five for five dollars at Kroger this week. And then I had a two dollar off two coupon. So they actually ended up being five for three dollars, which is a great deal. And we definitely need tissues in this house. Oh, Emmy, no, no. She is pulling it all off the table. Charcoal was on sale. I don't remember how much. I think it was $6.99. This toilet paper, we don't even use this brand, but for this price, we're going to use it this week. <laughs> Um, or for the next couple of weeks. So I got one of the, with aloe and just one of the ultra soft. Cottonell, I, for some reason, had a best customer bonus coupon on my Kroger card for $10 off of two. So it took $5 off each pack. And then when you bought two packs of Cottonell, they were two for 11. So I paid a dollar for two of these packages of Cottonell toilet paper. So like I said, for 50 cents a pack of the six mega rolls, we are gonna use that and we're gonna hopefully like it. If not, we'll just pass and wait until we go back to Sam's. And last two things, I got two packages of the 32 count Kroger bottled water. I think my little mini me over here is trying to do her own grocery haul. <laughs> um, these were $2.29 a piece after that buy four, save for sale. Um, so that is everything that I got today. Oh, are you trying to open it? Okay, thank you. Um, so here's an overview again lots of meat um, for the deep freezer we are gonna put some brats burgers with half of that hamburger meat chicken breast and um, baked potatoes that I already have and um, the asparagus and something else all on the grill we'll have leftovers for the whole weekend oh the hot dogs as well and I've already got hamburger buns and hot dog buns in the freezer as well and um, so yeah, we're gonna have tons of extra meat. The roast will last us for a couple of months because I only do that, you know, once a month or so. Um, yeah, so that's everything I got today. Again, I'll have that total there in the thumbnail and in the title. And y'all have a great week. Hopefully y'all have less issues at the grocery store than I did this week. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.